Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be um, extracting sulfuric acid from car batteries. This was um, given me a video request by Inventor991. Wait, 9991. Okay, so basically you need a battery, which I have here. And you need to wear goggles and gloves. gloves. So just let me zoom in. This thing right there, that like you see in the right there, just like latch it off. It'll come right off. And inside of there, there'll be sulfuric acid. Okay? So I just get it with this thing and just pour it in there and extract it. And you see, it has some sulfuric acid. So I just get a bottle, which I'm wearing an amber bottle, and just put it in there. You can keep on doing that until you run out of sulfuric acid. This is a freak acid on both sides, so there's a crap load. Okay, so I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so after extracting, I got about an ounce, and there's way more in there. So let's test if it's actually sulfuric acid. So I just get some PA paper, which I have, and pull a strip, and get a drop of it, and just put it in the pH paper. Okay. That's good, so let's test it. And you can see it's red, indicating that it's in pH about one acid. So this acid is about 36% to 40%. To get some way better sulfuric acid, you have to boil it down because they have some water and some contaminants. This is just a source for some home lab people, but if you wanna go like to better research, just buy it online. It's probably about 30 bucks, about 16 ounces in a pint. So that's good. Yeah, so that's it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter at AMChemistry7. Thanks for watching.